Now we're in the model shop that helps support our research and development activities here at Leupold. We've got Steve Hodge. Hi, Steve. Hey, Tim. Good to see you. Uh, do you have just a few minutes to kind of walk us through what it is you do here? Absolutely. Okay. What is involved in, in getting the right lenses for the, for the optical prescriptions that we use? We have a team of engineers here, of optical engineers specifically, that design all of our optical systems. They do the prescription from start to finish. Um, spec out the quality of, and the materials of the glass and then we send that to these specialized grinding houses that actually produce the lenses. Um, in order to get good quality lenses you've got to partner up with somebody that does this full time and that's their core competency. And it's such a specialized field to grind lenses that uh, and not just with rifle scopes with, but with just about any optical device they, they go to these large houses to source ground lenses. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. I think we're going to keep moving and look at some more things, but I Great. appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. And now we're in one of the optics labs here at Leupold, and we've got Brad Brumfield. Brad? Hey, Tim. Hey. Do you have just a second to walk us through some of the things that you're doing here? Sure. Here I'm working on a rifle scope design. We do all of our optical prescriptions here. Uh, when we're working on an optical prescription, we're designing for things like field of view, eye relief, transmission, resolution. Everything you see in the catalog specs uh, is done by design. Okay. Now, once we finish uh, optical prescription, uh, we test every lens individually before they go into a product, as well as every product once it's been completed. Uh, what you see over here is a single lens under test uh, for wavefront error, and uh, you can see that a uh, tenth wave error is, is really good. We test everything to ISO standards. Leupold is actually the U.S. representative for telescopic systems for ISO. So we not only test to ISO standards, but we also help establish those standards. Great. This is great information. Thank you, Brad. You bet. Hey Tim. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Do you have a couple minutes to kind of walk us through what you're doing here? Sure. All right. Uh, this room is a live fire simulation lab. We have special machines created just for Leupold that simulate live fire up to uh, any type of caliber and gun weight. Basically what you're doing is simulating recoil mm -hmm. and then checking for point of impact shift. So in the field what we're trying to test is whether they're going to shoot a tight group. Exactly. Now, it seems to me that there would be some application for during the design process, too. So if we had a new line that was coming out, we might be able to, to run some tests ahead of time. Exactly. All, all new products have to go through this room. You know, it, it seems like that would help the customer from being the guinea pig, from being the one who needs to do the testing. We can do it all ahead of time, make it, sure that the scope works. Exactly. Like this room is to make sure that our lifetime warranty uh, is easily valid. Now we can take a look at where all of these components that we've manufactured so far turn into a completed scope. Let's go take a look in the clean room. Diana, how long have you been with Leupold? In November, it'll be 35 years. That's a long time. Yeah, a long uh, time. What is your role here at Leupold? I'm supervisor over the VX2 products here in assembly. Okay. And what are we looking at right here in this area? This is where we build all of our click adjustments. Okay, so these are the adjustments that do the windage and elevation. Yep. Um, it seems like a lot of parts for one adjustment. How many parts are going into one adjustment? One adjustment takes 11 different parts. What are we seeing out in, in these areas here? Okay, this immediate area here is the VX3 area. Okay. And then you have sub-assembly area, and then at the far end of the room is this specialty area. Specialty stuff. Okay, in these sub-assemblies that you're, that you're talking about, is that basically taking a lot of the smaller pieces and making one uh, larger piece, like the adjustments? We're right. putting the 11 pieces yeah. together? The only difference between them is that we, we're dealing with lenses where they don't have any. Okay, so a sub-assembly is like the erector system. Yes. Okay. This is a pretty big area. Uh, how many people are in the, the clean room here? There's 112 people and we do have two shifts. Two shifts. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you definitely keep busy. Yes, we do. <laughs> well, what are we seeing here? Okay, this is the VX2 line. Okay. okay. They um, bring the orders down, sub-assembly parts are put in the sub-assemblies, and the rest of them are put on the main two lines. Okay. 
And so it, it looks, it goes down the line here and they put the various pieces, the adjustments, erector system. Right, starts out with the main tube prep, get the main tube ready, and then it goes down. As it goes down the line, each different part gets put in. Systems, reticles, eyepieces, objectives, and then it goes on to collimation. That's the very last station, and what he's doing is he's adjusting those outside lenses so that they line up with a reticle. Okay. What we call collimation. That oh, way right. the hunter can hit what he's shooting at. Sure, well that's, a, that's an important aspect. <laughs> yeah. This is our water test. We, we uh, dunk, every scope we build goes into the water test to check, check for leakers. Okay, so we don't just test a, a small population. We test every single scope? Every single scope goes in there. And then it comes down here and they put the dials on and depending on the type scope that gets the proper dial. Okay. Flows down here. This station here, they're doing another mechanical check. So they're checking the scope again after they put the dials on. Yeah, yeah. Between the assembly process and getting ready to go for the adjustment covers, how many times does a scope get checked? Five times. Five times. Five times. Because we start with raw materials and build every scope right here, we can customize the manufacturing process with special order colors, bullet drop compensation dials, ballistics reticles, and even custom engravings. It also means that we can stand behind that legendary full lifetime guarantee that comes with every loophole rifle scope. And you can rest assured that any customization or service work performed on an existing loophole rifle scope is handled right here by the same experts who built it. Taking a look around the factory, you can see that the entire Leupold family shares an absolute dedication to quality, performance, and service. Most of us are avid hunters and shooters ourselves, and all of us shares a passion for our customer and understands that the best way to get a job done right is to do it yourself. Thank you for taking the time to join me on this tour. We'll see you next time.